All right, guys, we got to talk about a pretty wild story out of Mississippi involving a ghetto baby mama who got confronted and exposed in Walmart for having her baby walking around with only a diaper on in freezing cold weather. Now, this story is controversial because the Walmart employee that confronted this woman and also started recording what the woman was doing. Uh, she ended up getting fired for it, okay? And a lot of people upset saying that the Walmart employee should not have gotten fired for uh, essentially exposing this mother, uh, allowing her child to be out in the cold with no clothes on. And a lot of concerned citizens confronted this mother for engaging in this clearly irresponsible behavior. And I want to talk about this story because again, it is a story that I think is a bad story, but it's also a good story as well too. Uh when you see people in the community stand up for children who have parents that probably shouldn't be parents, okay? And like I tell you guys a lot of times when I cover these stories uh about these parents or even the kids that are committing these crimes, the agents of chaos, uh it's because we have a parenting crisis okay we have a bunch of people that are trying to raise children that have no clue whatsoever how to raise children in fact they're exhibiting behaviors that the children are picking up on that are not good behaviors for society and then this is how you get the decline of society that we're experiencing right now so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it a five-year walmart employee here in the metro loses her job for posting a video that has gone viral Felicia Darling says when the child entered the Byram store last week during record-breaking cold temperatures wearing only a diaper, well, she had to do something. I spoke to her tonight, and she says she knew she had to do something quick. Felicia Darling said something to the mother, as did a male customer. Here's some of the interaction. Okay. He came in here with that jacket on. Yeah, he did. That baby just had a pimp on. Yeah. I can't. She just an innocent soul. He didn't ask to be here. So I took action and I started recording her. Then it's in the video. She throw cold food on the baby. Yeah, don't do that. And he sadly just looked down. Somebody called police on her. It seemed like in his eyes, he was just looking for help. He was crying out for help. A man was telling her, you throwing cold food on the baby. She walks off and twerks. Wow. I just, 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 Again, look at the behavior. Look at the behavior in response to concerned citizens. Again, this is what you want in your community, right? This is what you want, okay? Especially, again, when you're talking about black folks, okay? This is what you want to see. You want to see black folks stand up for what is right, okay? When you see something wrong, you say something, you try to confront the problem, the issue, because, again, this child, he didn't ask to be here, okay? But... He is here and he has a parent that seems to be extremely irresponsible in regards to her parenting, okay? And she's bringing a kid in the store with no clothes on, okay? And it's freezing cold outside, but she's fully dressed, right? She's dressed. She got a little uh, sweater on, uh, long pants, boots, um, a, a, a napkin on her head. I'm not sure exactly what you call that, but she's fully dressed and, and the child is not fully dressed. Right. And that's a problem. That's an issue. And when confronted about it, instead of realizing the problem and understanding that these people simply want to make sure that this child uh, isn't freezing in the cold, um, she twerks and gives them an attitude. Again, this is this is crazy, man. It absolutely is crazy. Somebody call the police on her. Go ahead, since I've already called two times. I keep paying. So long as you got hot water, fire extinguisher. But when you come in the store fully dressed and your baby's not. So this has happened before, right? So this has happened before. People have called the police on her in regards to how she's raising her children, okay? Maybe this is something she does quite a bit. 
She lets her children go outside in the cold with no clothes on. Who knows? Okay. And police show up and they're like, okay, well, you got the basics. So ain't really anything we can do. But it's just a shame that this has happened before, that she's already went through this, but yet she hasn't gotten a hint. <laughs> she hasn't picked up on why people are concerned about the way that she's raising her child. Again, it's extremely concerning. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about in regards to why a lot of these kids don't even have a chance coming out the womb. They don't have a chance because they're being raised by individuals that have no clue how to actually raise kids and are actually raising them to uh, participate in these bad behaviors and these crimes that we see these kids participate in. A customer in a riding shopping cart purchases an outfit for the boy and dresses him while the mother flips through her phone. After the lady in the riding cart put the um, outfit on the baby, she walks out of Walmart and, and started walking to our car. She was walking to our car, a cop was walking behind her, and um, they arrested her and they took, they took the baby. They took the baby and CPS was called. 26-year-old Cambria Darby was arrested and charged with child neglect. Child Protective Services released the child to a family member. Byram police say Darby has bonded out. We reached out to Walmart after Darling was fired. This is their statement in full. Quote, we share the concern others have for the child in the video in our store in Jackson, Mississippi. We don't discuss personnel matters involving current or former associates. All associates are encouraged and empowered to use their judgment in contacting authorities when they see something that may be wrong. However, all associates are also expected to follow the Walmart code of conduct, end quote. And if I feel like I did the right thing, because who wouldn't want, who wouldn't want to help an innocent child? Yeah, so you've seen that, you heard that. Now, um, I think Walmart probably fired her because they probably have a policy where you can't record customers in the store, okay? Uh, even if they are, um, you know, committing acts of bad parenting, okay? Uh, if they are doing things like that, I'm pretty sure that is the policy. Now, I think in a situation like this, this is so egregious and it's so bad. And obviously this woman had good intent. I'm not necessarily sure that they should have fired her. I don't think that they should have fired her even if what she did was against the rules because essentially she was trying to save the child's life, right? She was trying to prevent the child from freezing to death because of bad parenting. Um, and I think because of that, I think that that is enough to see her as a hero doing what a hero would do in a situation like that, which is to draw attention and awareness to the situation and what's going on. Now, I guess some people can argue, um, was it necessary to record it? Not sure, right? I'm not sure. I guess you record it as a way to bring awareness to people that, hey, this is what this person is doing. Um, but I think that's probably the reason why she got fired. I think that uh, if she had not recorded it, I think she would have kept her job, right? If she just had called the police, um, you know, and just dealt with it that way without recording it, then she probably would have kept her job. Either way, I don't, I'm not sure if this is the right thing for Walmart to do. Um, I think that clearly th this woman, I think was acting in a way that she felt was best for saving the child's life and drawing awareness to the situation. But regardless, the good thing is that mother did get arrested. Okay. Even though she bonded out and, you know, she's probably not going to learn a lesson from this, but um, it's sad. It really is. It's extremely sad. Uh, some of the life situations that these children are born into, you know, sometimes it really is hard to blame the child for um, their behavior and how they act when they become career criminals, because that's all they knew growing up. That's all they saw growing up. Now, that doesn't mean you should be soft on crime, because at some point you get to an age where you, you know better. You should know the difference between right and wrong, regardless of how you uh, were raised, regardless of, you know, your parenting or whatever. But you know, still, I'm just saying, you know, videos like this, stories like this are an explanation for why we're seeing what we're seeing. And the decay in our society, it really does start with the parents. We have a lot of people in this country that are having children that probably should not be having children. And this is what it leads to. Okay. It leads to 
what we saw in this video and then it also leads to a lot of other videos I've done specifically when we're talking about crime okay and the destruction of our society so let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace